Hey, everybody. I'm here with a friend of mine and also somebody that happens to be a, a customer of Shoot.edit, Brandy with Brandy Elise Photo. Let's get started. Let's spend a couple of minutes. Tell me about your story and how you got started and how you ended up becoming you know, a wedding photographer. So I went to college at Texas State and got my degree in photography. I did not initially want to do weddings. I wanted to just kind of stick to portraits because that felt safe. Weddings, they're a different world. And it was just a little daunting. After I got married in 2011, I was just in love with my wedding photographer that I used. She was like a celebrity to me. After I got married, she was looking for a second shooter. And so I reached out to her and I would love to second shoot and try it out. And she was exclusive to weddings. So yeah, it ended up being weddings and I learned so much from her. Gosh, shot like 100 weddings with her at least. That's what kind of gave me the confidence to start doing weddings on my own. And then I went full time weddings and no more portraiture in 2015. Before we move on, anything you'd like to add to the customer experiences you create that you'd like to share? I know a lot of wedding planning is stressful, so I try to be the not stressful part of it and to be the fun part of it. I want you to be very comfortable with me. And a lot of times after they book, I send them my cell phone number and say, text me from here on out. If that's easier for you, it's easier for me. Let's just text. I love to help with building a timeline. I like to get in there and tell them my specific preferences for a photo timeline. I tell them with an engagement session that their photos will be delivered to them in four weeks. And my goal is always to do it sooner than what I tell them, right? And then sneak peeks sooner than they expect and more sneak peeks than they expect and more photos than they expect. I don't don't make huge promises. I think what I deliver is great and they're always happy with what I say. And then I try to just give more than that. Awesome. Well, that's great. Actually, let's parlay then into marketing, which is social media, because that is the primary way you market. Is that right? Instagram is my number one because as of right now, it's where my clients are finding me. You know, that's on my contact form. When they inquire, I say, where do you find out about me? And it's word of mouth or Instagram. So that's where I put my efforts towards, you know, I try to have my story always active in some way. Stories are great because it's just a little glimpse, right? And then reels. So reels is, I think, the beast here. For a while, I was taking about one day a week, one day every two weeks and kind of batch filming reels. And I really started seeing some growth and I was getting inquiries that said, I saw your reel. You have to shoot my wedding. Love it. Brandy, so let's start with the investment in softwares. Like what softwares have you invested in either to DIY, you know, use them yourself or use them to, to outsource. Tell us about the software part and what you use. Now that I'm full-time weddings, I've realized that it's okay and encouraged to use resources for help, like shoot.edit. I say this all the time, shoot.edit has like saved my business. Beginning of a process with a client, I use HoneyBook, and that's where you're sending invoices, brochures, contracts, questionnaires. And you show it for the type that likes to build it yourself and be able to change it when you want to. Show it's just the best for that. I'm ordering custom gifts from Etsy for each of my clients, or I'm making them myself. I love using Etsy specifically, like supporting small businesses is always ideal. So I use newer flashes from Amazon. That's usually my go-to for a reception. Canon. Uh, I currently have two R6s. I did just do the R50 millimeter and the R70 to 200. It is unmatched. It's amazing. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Brandy, this has been great. Thank you so much for your time. 